Okay, test drive time. Got a 1972 Chevrolet Chevelle sitting here. This one's got the 350 under the hood. It's also got power steering and power brakes. It's got 12 bolt rear. It's got like a Flowmaster style muffler on this one. Aftermarket set of wheels, disc brakes in the front. And of course, throughout this video, I'm going to be looking for flaws. We're going to be looking for chips, scratches, rust, and dents. We're also going to be taking it down the road, seeing how this car handles. Dual exhaust out the back. If there's anything that you need to know about, you will know it in this video. That's why I do these videos. This is how the car is represented and how it will show up to your house. Detail pictures, financing, and shipping, maplemotors.com. Anything else? Yeah, hit subscribe. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. She is super clean on the inside. You got a nice bench seat, you got nice carpet, aftermarket gauges. Let's start her up. Starts up nice and easy, super quiet. Good old pressure. Engine temperature's coming up. Cracks in the dash there, but that could be replaced. Got the owner's manual in here. Aftermarket CD player, face to the CD players in the office. Um, our blower motor is not working. That'll need some help. Wipers. They're also not working on this one. They need some attention too. Place your bets, do you think the horn works? package tray everything's pretty clean your headliner there could be tightened up that's what I call a mechanics headliner it's where they didn't hire an upholstery guy to come and uh, tighten that up it's actually a really hard job to do a headliner horn it does work what y'all bet showing you the mileage two 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 zero five turn signals left side's blinking right here right side is blinking on the other side well Ashtray, boom. Let's take off, guys. We'll go ahead and see how she drives. Good deal. All right, now we're gonna take off down the road. Let's see how this one drives. There's reverse for us. Brakes are a little squeaky. I'm gonna see if I can knock the dust off of it. It's got a wrap on the steering wheel here. A little spot where they tied it. I guess the wrap was coming off. Decent power. Speedometer is incorrect. Going straight as an arrow down the road. Your passing gear is definitely hooked up. It's pretty quick, tight steering. Gas gauge is fluctuating around. I do believe it works. Brakes feel good. Riley's over there pointing at it. Now this one will be good up on the highway. You can run her up to 70, 80 mile an hour. Nothing holding her back there. It's got an overdrive gear. get on the back roads get out all this traffic it's only about one o'clock there's so much traffic in town but it's also getting warm outside this is our first 65 degree day 
And honestly, it feels more like 70. <laughs> good deal. Suspension feels good. Now, we're gonna light up the undercarriage, get some outside shots, just like we do in all the other videos. Be sure to check the description below. Lots of useful information down there. And don't get scammed by some people online impersonating us. They're doing it to a lot of YouTubers, but make sure you call us. That's the way around that. 615-822-4444. We're never gonna ask you for money. We just want you to make sure you're talking to the right people and not a scam artist. I'm trying to take them down too, so I'm reporting all their profiles. You see them on there, they only got 10 subscribers. You know that's not me. All right. Let's go ahead and run through the rest of this video. Undercarriage shots, outside shots, ends with picking out the flaws. I'll be back. Guys, this here is a runner. And at the beginning of the video, um, I tried the wipers. They wasn't working because they wasn't hooked up. Check this out. They worked. I don't know why they wasn't hooked up, but I did my walk around, found it, plugged it in. We're good. Um, engine temperature, man, 175. Oil pressure is almost 30. I have 50 when you touch the throttle. We're doing good. Let's get out of here. We'll head on back to the lot now. I gotta watch out, some tree branches coming down. 
Now this is a runner. It runs and drives good. Uh, got some get up too. I don't know if you noticed that kick down's hooked up correct. She gets down when it kicks down. <laughs> Little squeak from the brakes. They could be a little dirty. I know one thing, I always get my brakes done because I end up they end up squeaking and they're fine. They need pads or whatnot. And within I don't know, a week or so, they'll start squeaking again. I don't know what's up with that. It's been my luck with brakes my whole life. <laughs> I think the only thing that solves that is when I replace everything. <laughs> I don't want to have to do that, so. Uh -uh. Well, their speedo's off for sure. I'm not going 70. I'm running 35, 40. Tighten the mirror up so we don't have to adjust it all the time. See me driving around with a camera on my head, I look all goofy. That's okay. Nice little bump in the road up here. She's coming. Let's give her a little tire chirp. Just a little bit of, we was rolling. Just gave me a little squeal there, didn't it? Coming on down through Brian's Motorsports. If you haven't checked him out, he fully customizes vehicles for a living every single day. This is Brian's Motorsports. You got a website, brian'smotorsports.com. People will buy cars from us, send them down here, get the wheels swapped, maybe some suspension work. Does stereo work every day, fully customizable. Uh, you can see he's got the whole back end of that Ford tore apart. Now he's got everything tore apart on that. There's no door handles or nothing. So he's getting ready to change a lot. You already see the suspension BMS off-road. He does it all. I like coming down here just to see the stuff he's got sitting outside. I really do. Um, and he's like family to us. I've known him since I was a little kid. He owns this whole strip here too. It's kind of interesting. He's got a shoe shop called Soho Gallery. Premium footwear, soho615.com if you want to check out the shoe shop. Right down from Maple Motors, we're heading back now. I mean, walking distance. I'll walk down here many, many times. And see, we're pulling back into the lot now. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this video. Pick it out the flaws. Coming up next. get to walking around this ride anything i find you'll know about it i'm looking for chips scratches rust dents bondo whatever there is coming up front here dirt wiped it right off a little scuff in the corner a little bit of pitting on top Light looks good. Headlight bezel's got a little bit of pitting. A little scuff here. A bit of 
pitting there. That come right off, a little dust. Coming down the side, you got a mark here. Is that a mark? No, that's tape. Just some clear, cheap tape. I don't know what that's doing on there, but it should have been peeled off during the uh, cleanup process. There's cracks in the paint up here in the front. dust and dirt that I picked up cracks in the paint over here and at the bottom little bubbles in the door just got some dust and leaves some chips there little chips at the bottom here right here as well touch up marks on the edge where all these leaves came from There's some lines in the paint there from the top. Oh, you got some rust under the vinyl top, that's why. Yeah. Coming down. Chips in the back here from the tire. Touch up mark. Yeah, some rust bubbles here and there and in this vinyl top here. So I need to pull it off, sand it all down, clean it up, put a new top on it. Get rid of all that rust. There's some up top too. We're almost there. I'll go back over that in a minute. Let's keep going down the side. Chrome looks good. Paint's got a lot of wax on it. Touch up mark there. Yeah, the only thing that I'm doing right here is just knocking these little leaf debris off. Chip there. It's like static stuck to it there's some chips here that have been touched up a little scuff mark up top chips on top here too crack in the windshield touch up mark there got some light scratches on your window here pillar looks good spot there and vinyl top just needs to be pulled off um, just because there is some rust here in the back you can see some spots and you got some bubbles popping up around the back here in the back window um, in this corner here you got a lot of little bubbles as well bubbles in your package tray there not all the way across though just this side back window is clean and so is the trim a little bit of rust below the trim here on the side. I showed that earlier. Sorry about the shadow. We're getting ready to leave it behind. We won't have that the rest of the video. Chrome looks good on the bumper here. Tailpipes look decent. Looking around in your jam. Seal looks good. Ladybug! Is that good luck? I heard that was good luck. I got a bunch of them in my house though. <laughs> you can tell a little bit of moisture's been in here, but it's not rotted out. Overall, it looks pretty good. Package tray is pretty solid too. And the seals in the trunk look good. There's not a bunch of rust. I think the only rust that I'm seeing on the car really is our vinyl top. Well, moisture gets trapped under that and it can't get out. So eventually it causes rust. 
I know a lot of people nowadays have been doing the Rhino liner. And it looks pretty dang good. I was like, wow. I've seen two or three of them done. And I like it. <clears throat> They're using different types of liner too. It's not just Rhino liner, but. You got chips, touch up marks. Spot there. Yeah, I would I would consider doing that, whoever buys this. Oh bubbles popping up in the back here. Trunk's hanging a little bit. Dent there. Little bubbles. Bubble there. Little bubbles over here as well. Of course you can run it like this for a while. Let's go ahead and shoot down the side. We'll make it to the top in a minute. We're almost done. A little scuffs here. Little imperfections, chips coming down the side. Rust here in the corner. That does need to be checked on there. The line there coming from under the vinyl top. A little bubble in the corner. Light cracks in the paint and the edge of the door too. A little bubble there, it's real small. Chips. Chip here. And these little chips are small. I mean, when you're looking at that one, check this out. Coming on down the side, Malibu car, 350, strong 350, that's for sure. She's set up pretty good. A little scratch in the door, a couple chips, chip there, and there. Dent here, touch up mark. And again, we've been over this back window in the uh, back area there. So we'll look at these windows. A little bit of scratches going on on the handle there. Chip on the inside. Little cracks in the rubber. Chip there. Chrome on this one looks nice. Pretty and clean. Chips on the edge there. <clears throat> I see some slight overspray. That should come right off. Chip there. Light scratches on your chrome. A little small chip here. Up here as well. Front windshield. There's a scuff. Ladybug! Ladybug! Oh, maybe it's bad looking. I'm flipping him over. Let's get him off. <laughs> well, we've walked around the outside. We've seen the chips, the scratches, a little bit of rust here and there. I mean, she's a 1972 model. And, of course, it's not $50,000. So, let's go ahead and check out the interior now. We'll get her started up. Door panel's pretty clean. Edge of the door. It's all right. spot there and torn off looking at our seat got a spot poking through here well, it's not all the way through it's just poking up it looks like you got a patch right here on the seat make sure she's unlocked
pretty good except for the headliner back there in the corner needs to be tidied up same with this corner that thing on the steering wheel is what I was talking about when we took off it's just tied up no cracks in the dash Also got nice carpet in this one. It looks pretty good. The seat's okay except for this top portion. That door panel looks pretty good. Good deal. Wipers were unplugged. Plug them back in. Let me try them. Wipers work. Sometimes you just gotta plug them in. Weird. Now, yeah, we fixed one thing. Insulation still up under your hood. A couple chips on the edge. That's going to go over. There we go. Chip here. Got a little stain there. I think so. Touch up, Mark. Couple touch up marks on the hood. A little overspray there that could be taken off. Now, guys, I do my best to pick out all the flaws for you. I try to be as honest as I possibly can throughout my videos. There's nothing to hide here at Maple Motors because you're going to find out either way, and I want you to be a repeat customer. That's why we make these videos for the public. It makes it a lot easier than traveling to one state and looking at a car that you thought was something and it ends up being something else. That's the number one reason I make these videos. A lot of people, I've done it millions of times. I go out of state all the time just looking at cars and it's not what it's supposed to be. I do not like that. I really don't like that. So that's why I'm doing these videos. Again, guys, maplemotors.com, financing, shipping, detailed pictures. If you have any questions, give me a call. We'll go out here, call you, uh, on uh, FaceTime Live, we'll take pictures of these cars and send you anything that you request. But you gotta call us, 615-822-4444. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.